welcome back. This is Trigger View Part 3. The thing that we want to go over with this lesson is how do we find the angle of interest given the sides. First, let's review what we've learned already. Um, the foolproof way of determining the, which uh, side is which is to locate the right angle, label the hypotenuse, draw a larger arch through the angle of interest, label the adjacent side, and lastly label the opposite side. And then um, we also want to remember the Sokotoa, which all that means is this, the word sign of an angle means that is the ratio of the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. The co word cosine of a particular angle just means that's the ratio of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And finally, the word tangent means that it's just the opposite side divided by the adjacent. Now, just how do we find the missing angle? Well, we use a thing called an inverse trig function, and those are also known as the arc function. So we have arc sine, we have arc cosine, we have arc tangent. They're also shown on your calculator is sine to the minus 1, cosine to the minus 1, and tangent to the minus 1. Usually they're the second function underneath the sine, cosine, and tangent. So all that means is that when you have the ratio of, for example, with a arc sine, if we know the ratio between those two sides from the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, then the angle has to be for every single triangle with that that ang uh, with that ratio will be the same angle. But that also you if you you could also do the adjacent divided by hypotenuse and that's the inverse cosine. And finally if you just have the opposite and adjacent, you can take the the inverse tangent or the arc tangent of that ratio, and that will give you the angle of interest. Let's go through an example here. On the top right hand corner, we have a triangle, the famous builder triangle, 3, 4, 5, and we have labeled that with the angle of interest, and we want to find out what the angle is in that lower right hand corner. We know it's a right triangle because of the square and so we're going to first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the hypotenuse which is the longest side and label that H. The next thing we're going to do is make a larger arch arc of, of the angle of interest and then look for the adjacent side. We're going to label that A. And then the last thing we do is look for the opposite side which we're going to call O. Now, the, if you want to find the missing angle, there are several ways to do that. Um, one way to do that is looking at the inverse sine or arc sine of the ratio of the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. In this case, we would put, and on our calculator, we would put sine to the minus 1 with the parentheses, and we put 3 divided by 5, or we could put sine to the minus 1.6 and that will bring back a degree which is 36.9 degrees. Now the only thing you need to remember is don't use the regular sign and make sure your calculator is actually in degrees and not radians. But what is interesting if you do the arc cosine or the arc tangent if you have all the lengths of the sides of the right triangle you get the same number of degrees no matter what function you use. Let's look at an example where we have two sides of a right triangle and we want to know that angle theta. The first thing we're going to do, always, we're going to label the sides. First the hypotenuse, then make a larger arc with, through the angle theta, label 
the adjacent side and lastly label the opposite side. Now the only two sides we know are going to be adjacent and opposite. And if that's the case, then what we want to use, we want to use the arc tangent. So the arc tangent of that opposite side divided by adjacent side is the arc tangent of 2 divided by 5. And if we plug that into our calculator, sure enough, we get 21.8 degrees. Let's look at another triangle where, in this case, it's a right triangle, and the angle that we want is in that upper right-hand corner. In this case, we, have, we need to label our sides. We're going to label it hypotenuse, the arc, the adjacent, and the opposite. In this case, we only have the adjacent and hypotenuse, which means that we're dealing with the arc cosine. So to find that angle theta, we're going to take the arc cosine of that adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. In other words, arc cosine of 2 divided by 6. That gives us an angle of 70.5 degrees. The last triangle that we're going to look at is a triangle that when we label it, we only have the opposite and the hypotenuse. In this case, we would use the arc sine to find the angle. And so the arc sine of the opposite divided by the hypotenuse is the arc sine of 5 divided by 7, and that gives us an angle of 45.6 degrees. I hope this has helped you re remember how to use sine, cosines, tangents, arc sines, arc cosines, and arc tangents to find the angles.